Welcome to Zyber Organics channel. My name is Tunane. I'm the brand owner and founder of Zyber Organics, where I sell cosmetics, candles, also teach you DIY cosmetics on this channel. So today we're going back to basics. I'm going to do a formulation 101, which is basically how to write and structure a basic formula. And if you're struggling how to convert the form, like recipes in the formulas, this video will be for you. So in today's video, we're just gonna show you how to structure a formula, how to how to make the adjustments if you want to make it a bigger batch or small batch, and how to use the percentages, and also how we we'll talk about the phase of how to actually bring the whole formula together and actually using it forward. Maybe you want to work with a contract manufacturer and you have to tell them exactly what you need so that they understand the formulation and just giving them recipes it doesn't gonna work. Or even if you do it at home, if you want to make a bigger batch or a small batch, this will this video will actually show you how to re reduce or increase your adjustment adjustments of the ingredients so that you, you may, maybe you want to make 50 jars or maybe 10 jars or three bottles or one bottle. So this will really make you understand how to comp how to compose your formula, how to structure it, and how to make it. So, without further ado, let's get on to it. Okay, so I got a, a formula here. Well, it's sort of a recipe for a caffeine and niacinamide face cream moisturizer. Okay, so there are a couple of wrongs here, and I tell you how not to write the formula. So let's start with the wrongs, and then so that you can understand it better. So here, there's a couple of errors that, okay, so we've said, we've got the gram, which is a measurement of weight. Then you got drops, <laughs> then you got teaspoon, <laughs> then you got ml. So there's a multiple, so the first error is multiple measurement types, which is wrong, basically. So don't do those things. Don't combine drops, don't combine gram, mils teaspoons so everything needs to be actually in on the grams okay so that's number one so always uh, put everything on the ground second thing is you got also the ingredients here and they're like you don't know what you're putting so this is what's like what is lavender is it lavender water or is it essential oil it could be anything so um you need to write a little bit details and also you need to write there the more details about what you're using so glycerin is it like uh where did you get it from? Um, Zantan, like you're using a gum here. So what kind of gum are you using? Are you using Zantan gum? Or are you using Guar gum or anything like that? Okay, other thing here at the bottom. So you got also like stage one, add water, add glycerin, coconut oil, put everything together, <laughs> add shea butter, heat it 25 minutes and then all this. So there's a lot of, uh, <laughs> this is quite messy. So you don't actually write the formula in this way okay especially if you want to you know make you do everything consistent and more precise um, and you can't scale this formula the reason is because a because you have all this mixture of like your measurement units and also you don't know what are you using here okay so everything needs to be one measurement which is grams always use grams okay it's the universal uh, universal okay so that you can adjust it okay go use grams and always use where you can an inky so if you don't know what an inky means you'll see it on the on the on the screen is a international nomenclature um, term so this is like a global you know when you look at the ingredients this is the global universal ingredients explanation so what are these so for example water we know is aqua okay and um, gum like what is always something gum and such that so that's what you do so any questions about these parts that you don't understand um just ask me in the comments and i'll try to help you so let's move on a proper written formula that you can i will give you a template on this if, if you're interested let me know in the comments if i can write a proper template for this and then you can use it but basically um this is like everything as I mentioned is everything is in person. That's number one. Okay. And then you got the inky name and the trade name, which is sometimes you need to know maybe you're using a proprietary proprietary product product. So you need to know their name. Second thing is that we got the phases here nice written. So every phase it means what you're going to prepare the thing, prepare your formula. So in the phase A, you're combining this. In the phase B, you're doing this. In phase C, you so that you can do a formula in stages, okay? You can see we got water, then we got lavender hydrosol, glycerin, and gum. So I'm using 
another uh, emulsifier called this uh, citrate citrate sterate citrate then I'm using Oliver 1000 citrate then you can write the whole inky and all here and you get this and in your method measure out phase A so you just combine water and hydrosol in the combined phase and then it says combine phase B so phase B is glycerin and hydrosol gum so you combine these two then it says add phase A to stir through until a homogeneous gel forms. So what it says, you combine this and then you add it to here. So you know in every phase and every step what you're going to do. Another thing is never use time as your never use time as your sort of like don't hit it 20 minutes. The reason is if you're making something in a small batch, you might need five minutes will be enough. But if you're making a, a big batch, five minutes will not gonna be enough. So always hit to use a standard degree. So use like hit it to 75 degrees and then and then com combine it. And then you say, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. This is how much I'm going to stir. I'm going to make a high stir, okay? So if you don't know this phase, how to write these phases, what you can do, you can always outline what you're going to do. So it goes back to my, um, formulation uh, skills video which you can see it up on the screen basically from there when you're designing the formula okay you can actually say okay this is what i'm going to design so i'm making a face cream so what does face cream requires an oil a water a stabilizer you know a something gum an emulsifier so first you you write all these things okay so to write the phase A, once you select your ingredients, you need to group them together. So the water and water-based ingredients, uh, for example, floral waters, aloe vera juice, things like that, they go to water phase A. Then you got your humectants and gums and things like that, they go to phase B. And then you're categorizing them in the order. So A, B and C is your oil phase and D normally goes in your sensitive, sensitive heat sensitive, other small ingredients active, they all go in, in this section, okay? So the way you're gonna combine it, then you work, okay, so this is water and the first, second, so um, you're right, you measure your phase A, okay? So you do that first bit. Then you go, okay, I'm gonna combine the glycerin and something gum together. So that goes, right, you write it down, combine phase B to form a slurry. What you're doing here, you're making a slurry. Then add phase A and stir through until a homogeneous gel forms. So that's what you do. So you write your phases, what you're going to do, okay? And then you just continue what you're going to do. So you, again, it goes back to designing the formula, but that's for how you do it. So that's how you write your method, what you're going to do. Select your ingredients, categorize them, and then you need to you need to work out how you're gonna work out the, how you're gonna make this, okay? Water, oil, stabilizer, and then you just combine them one at a time. Because if you put them all together in one go, you're gonna have a disaster, nothing's gonna work out. So that's the order of things, okay? Also, another thing is, when you're writing your ingredients, always start with the highest to the lowest. So whatever the highest percentage, that's how you write also in the labels. If you are selling your products, and you need to write the lowest, highest amount to the lowest amount in the inky order when you're putting your products together, okay? So water is the highest, and then you've got other bigger ingredients in that order. So when you also write the inky names, the highest of the ingredients always goes to first, and anything under 1%, you can put them in any order. So for example, here you've got like vitamin B3, vitamin B5, green coffee extract, and vitamin E, you can write these in any order when you put them in, when you're putting them on a label. So this is only for the labels, but also on the order as well. That, well, this section doesn't really matter in the order, but the highest to the lowest, highest to the lowest is okay. High to low, basically, okay? So now, in the last step, I'm gonna show you how to convert these percentages into specific grams and how to make them into your whatever the batch size you're doing so this will be really good if you want to adjust your batch size let's say if you're making 500 grams or if you're made, making 300 grams how this is how i'm going to show you to convert these percentages into specific grams you have for example doing 100 grams which means 100 percent which is always easier way to start with but if say you want to go 200 grams okay 
you want obviously this is going to be 200 percent so you multiply by 2 everything becomes times 2 so how are you going to convert this formula into 200 grams is basically you're going to multiply everything by 2 for example here we got 68.4 water okay so 68.4 percent water you need to multiply it by 2 then it gives you 136.8 grams of water okay so that's basically how we do it but let's say you want to go less let's say for example you want to make 50 grams of this 100 percent formula that means you need to divide everything by two so if you again take the 60.4 percent water then you need to multiply this by 0 0.5 instead of 2 so now you got 34 30.2 grams of water okay so let's say you want to give go even further down let's say you want to make 30 gram of a product let's say a serum okay so you got 5% 5% of oil so how are you going to make 5% of an oil it means 30 times 5% okay so that gives you 30 times 5 over 100 okay so that gives you 1.5 grams okay that's that's how you adjust it so whatever so the basic formulation is whatever the gram amount you have so you have the amount here in grams multiply with that percentage okay so whatever amount of that so if it's 60 percent well, then you can multiply it with that so you write your formula in phases phase a phase b you design your emulsifiers for this this cream so you have like in phase d which is after um the heating the process and you write your method how you're going to do this okay if you're still struggling about this, how to write these and what kind of phases, what to do, you need to understand really the basics. But if you have any questions, write in the comments. I'll try to help you, okay? This is how you structure a proper formula. And then you can actually use this template and then go to a contract manufacturer and say, this is the amount I want. These are the ingredients. These are the trade names. These are the ing And this is how you're going to do it. So that the manufacturer can follow what you want. Okay, so if you use this one, where combination of in combination of measurements, you don't know what they're going to do, and you don't know how they are have them to do it, is it's gonna really confuse them. So it's gonna be like really question mark. But here, you can actually everything is laid out perfectly, and they can they can, and this has also helped you. So because now you have something a structure in place, and you can adjust this up like go bigger amounts or you can go smaller amounts okay and I mentioned your formula is basically you just use the amount in grams and then you just multiply that with over 100 1 percent okay so if it's 60 percent water you just you multiply that by 60 percent percentage never changes that's why it's easy to think oh uh, and that's why it's easy to make things I will leave the calculator on the comment section and if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, this was just a quick one-on-one. -on -one. I'm hoping to do a couple of more of these so that uh, you, you don't get too confused about what to do. So next, I want, to, I want to explain to you is how to structure a basic, for example, a, comp a base formula where you can actually adjust it, like, for example, a basic gel formula. So next week or with weeks, I will do that. And then we're also going to move on to how to formulate with ingredients and so on. So... I hope you like this. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll try to answer as many as possible. Until next time, see you later. Bye.